Hey guys, welcome to the car set. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, my opinion about the top five next gen games for 2014. Um, the first game I really picked is uh, Dying Light. Dying Light, the release date for Dying Light is uh, in 2014. Um, I don't know the month, but it's in 2014. Anyways, uh, the reason why I picked this game is because uh, I love zombies. I love games that has zombie apocalypse uh it's first person some people think it should be in third person but i disagree i think the first person really brings out the experience like you're really there it's like you're watching a blu-ray movie but you're you have a controller and you're actually there the next game i picked is kingdom hearts 3 now i think that was a great idea bringing kingdom hearts to the ps4 that was a good idea i know a lot of people are going to enjoy it um the gameplay looks awesome Sora's is more adjustable with his moves and it's it looks really fun um, I wonder how long this game is going to be because I know all the Kingdom Hearts games are pretty long. And if it's multiplayer, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, the next game I picked is Destiny. Now, I always thought with Destiny, um, I was always thinking, what is Bungie going to do after Halo? Like, I always thought about that. I was like, what is Bungie going to do after they're done with Halo? I don't know if they're done with Halo, but I'm just saying. And um, I know for the beta, the beta is going to be on the PlayStation 4 first. And um, I'm kind of happy about that because I have a PlayStation 4. And um, the release date for that is uh, September 9th. And also for Kingdom Hearts, the release date is 2014, but I don't know the month. The next game I picked is Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, now, nah, Watch Dogs looks like, a, looks like the big, like, like, it looks like the deal. It looks like it's going to be very good. It looks big in detail. The gameplay looks like a mixture of shooting, stealth, hacking, and driving. That's uh, Machino's point of view. I took that because I like how they explained that and I totally agree with them. I totally agree with uh, Machinima on that one. And um, it's coming out in the spring. It got delayed to uh, come out in the spring of 2014. Hopefully, um, there's no setbacks, there's no changes. All uh, the uh, watchdogs has been uh, delayed. Uh, that, that'll be some bullshit. I'll get so pissed off. Um, next game that's really good is Titanfall. Titanfall, the basic gameplay is awesome. I love the fact that you can you can jump into buildings to uh, buildings to buildings. Uh, it looks very fun. It's very. It looks like an indestructible game. Um, it's very awesome. I like the gameplay. I like the shooting. I like the actions. I like those big ass robots. It bring it brings out the game really good. And the release date for that is uh, March 11th. Um, but uh, that's it. This video, guys. I didn't want to make it too long. I just want to give you my point of view on the top five games for next gen that I think is going to be the best sellers in uh, 2014. Now my question to you guys is, what do you guys think about the next year? What game do you anticipate that's going to have gamers adrenaline pumping? Because, you know, I think all the games I name is going to have my adrenaline pumping. I just want to know what you guys think about next year. You know, what games do you think that a lot of gamers are going to be playing? Uh, this concludes my video and hope this guy, I hope this helped you out. And if you guys enjoy watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. I don't know if there's any honor left on the frontier. I don't know if there ever was. I just know. I'm gonna make them pay.